people of Earth, I am back. Today I will be making a video showing you guys how to drive an automatic transmission car. A car is not all about driving. You need, uh, you need, uh, you need to take good care of your car for in order for it to last you a long, 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 long time. Also, I will be demonstrating. You, I will be showing you guys some important things you need to inspect in the car in order for it to be safe to drive. And I will be also showing you guys, demonstrating you guys the correct and incorrect ways of driving a car. Ready? Whoa, people, before you even think of driving a car, you must have to check your car. If you're gonna drive local, I recommend you to be checking in, uh, your car every week. That's what I do every week. I check on my car to see how it's doing because you never know what might happen on the road. And if you are going to drive really far or you're going on a road trip, make sure you check that car because we do not want an accident in the middle of a road. That's the last thing someone behind you but might be expecting. Bam, you get a flat tire or, in, any, or your engine burns or something. You just never know what might happen. So you will need to inspect some very important things on your car. And some of them are oil water, tires, and gas. Without these things being checked out before driving, you just don't know what might happen. Dude. So, let's get started. There are two different types of oils, two major types of oils in a car. It's the engine oil, and we also have the transmission oil. These two are the most important and you should be concerned about your oils. There's other different type of oils, but these are the most important ones. And I also recommend you to be checking the other oils because it'd be dumb if you don't check check them. So let's start off with the transmission oil. This little thing has five holes. And if your gas is at, all the way at its third hole, then it's good to go. And if it's at one or two, it's bad. So you need to do your oil changing. My oil right now is pretty good. It's at its fourth hole, so I'm good to go. I don't need to go and inspect and go check for the oil change. Oh. Now that we checked our transmission oil and we know it's good to go, let's give our engine oil a little checkup. Okay, this one has two holes. Holes. And if you see that second one, the both of the holes being covered by the oil, then you know your oil is good to go. If you just see one, then sadly your oil is not good to go, so you have to give it a checkup. My car right now is doing pretty good on its oils, so I'm good on my oils. Oils, no need to worry about that. Now that our two types of oils are ready to go, let's give it a the water a little checkup every time. Make sure every time you check for your water, make sure your, your, that your car is cooled down because if you just used your car and you're trying to give your water a check up, your water might be pretty hot and it might explode a little. So my car is pretty cooled down right now. I didn't use it a lot today so it's good to go. And also the way to know, whoa, it's coming up, the way to know if you're the water in your car is good. It, it right here it has a certain limit line. So if the water, if you could, you could move it and see how the water is doing, I think I'm gonna have to put some more water. But if you see that it's under the line, then you know that you have to put some more water. The type of water I recommend you to put on a car is purified water. The water you drink. I mean, a car is like a human. Don't give a car sink water. Imagine how bad it must taste for it. And also. You never know what the sink water might have. You it might have dirt or anything, so you might get be giving dirt to your car, and that might damage it. So I recommend you to give it sink water. So oh, see, I will have to do a checkup on my water, a close checkup because I think it needs water. We already gave the oil and water a little checkup, and we know they're good to go. So now let's give the tires a checkup. Um, by doing the checkup, I recommend you do the penny test. It's easier. You put Abraham Lincoln upside down, and you now that you have him upside down, you put it in between the treads of the tire. If you could still see the head of the 
of Abraham Lincoln, then your tires are wasted. They're pretty worn out. You need to go tire shopping. And if you cannot see his head, like right now, then your tires are good to go. No worries on buying a tires. Remember, every six years, you should be getting new tires. Even every six years is when you should get new tires. I mean, I know tires aren't cheap. I know they're expensive, but still, they're really important on your car. So, check your tires. Okay, now that we got our tires, oil, and water checked up, it's time to check on your gas. So let's see if my car has gas. Oops, sorry. As you could tell, my gas is pretty good to go. When turning your car on, give it another check up on your car dashboard. It's right, right here, right beneath me. Um, just for any further details on how your car might be doing. Okay, now that we got that ready to go. Um, due to this freezing, really, 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 really freezing weather, you need a car, you need to let your car warm up for my car is not that new as some of you guys know. So my car needs... 7 to 10 minutes in order for it to warm up and be ready to go. Newer cars need 3 to 5 minutes to warm up. So check your your car's manual or just as a mechanic for any further details. Woo! Okay, now that your car is safe to drive, I will be showing you guys... Teaching you guys the correct ways of driving a car and I also will be demonstrating you guys the incorrect ways of driving a car. First of all, you need to fasten your seatbelt. Okay, now that that's taken care of, um, make sure you fix your seat. Fix your seat, depending on how you want to do it. Um, well, on however you feel comfortable, so get that taken care of, okay? Have both eyes, have both of your eyes looking straight forward. Because you just don't know what it pop, might pop out. Like let's say you're in an intersection and my, my car pops out. You just don't know what might pop out. So be have your have your eyes ready for anything. For anything. Okay. Uh, look straight forward of course. And have your music on the low. Keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. We don't want it loud. Okay now I will be teaching you guys the incorrect ways of driving a car. Um. Don't never be messing around with your behind the wheel. Don't be playing around because it's pretty dangerous. You might put someone's life in danger. Also, your life. Um, also, when driving a car, please don't have your music really loud because you won't be focused on what you're doing. You're going to be mostly focused on those music. You're, like, you know, don't have your music loud. Never have your music loud because you're going to be wanting to move. But what? guess what? That's what clubs are for. Okay, so... Always, always, always have your music on the low, okay? On the low. Um, also, um, always, well, if you if you have your music, you're not going to be able to have your mind set, prepared for anything. So, keep your music on the low. That's why, that's why I never put music on my car. Never, ever, when I'm driving, I never put music on my car because I already paid the consequences for it. So, yeah, I kind of regret it. So, don't do that. And also, um... Yeah, don't don't drive while you're being drunk, cause then you, you will get a DUI. You um you might get arrested. Um, you well your license, you're not. They're not gonna take it away, I think. But just don't drive drunk. That's dumb. So yeah, these are the incorrect ways of driving. You know the you know the right and incorrect ways of driving a car. Let's 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 go for a little ride. Okay, before you gonna go forward or backwards you always have to press on the brake press on the brake every time or else your car won't work since I'm in a parking lot always look behind you and all the sides because you never know what they may be behind you okay every time that you are driving make sure you count how many turns you're doing for any turn else you will lose count of them and you might give an extra turn or a, one less turn okay so keep in mind have in mind what how many turns you gave on the wheel before so you could turn back
okay? And make sure you brake, never brake right in front of the car so else that will get them scared. Press the brake really behind them. So, okay, I'm driving right now on a big road so I cannot keep my eyes off the road. Anyways, so just be ready to drive. Um, have your eyes uh, on the road. Don't be distracted. Don't have music like me right now. I don't have music. Also, when turning, make sure you change. Make sure you put your turning signal 100 feet away of the turn. And yeah, every time you're driving, just be just be prepared for anything and be safe. Okay. I hope you learned something new today on driving a car, how to drive a car. Uh, I didn't really show how much of driving a car, but I hope this video helped you on how to drive an automatic transmission car. Because standard cars are harder to drive and I don't have time to be showing you guys how to drive a uh, uh, standard car. So this was a video on showing you guys how to drive an automatic transmission car. It's easier to drive and it's less stressful. So hope you guys learned something new.